welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new thanks for tuning in um we just did a video in the same spot but <laughs> we switched seats this is my better angle guys <laughs> um so this video we wanted to talk about some of the major things we've learned in our early 20s we are both over 25 close to the 30 so <laughs> yeah so um and then we i kind of broke it we, we're breaking it down into two topics so we'll talk about what we've both learned you know about work and money and then about relationship and friendships so i will start off um i mentioned in my last video but i am a disability case manager i work in insurance um currently i've been actually doing this job for four years so most of my early 20s I started off in my actual field doing child protection services and it was a nightmare. <laughs> I quit. It was the first job I ever actually quit and like because I couldn't do it or because I really needed to leave versus like I moved or something like that. Mm. What are you? All right. So I'm a nurse. We talked about that in the last video as well. And I have been a nurse for four and a half going on five years now. Crazy. Um, what was was I supposed to? Yeah. Do? So that was that's all you've done in your early twenties, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that is the only career that I've done. Okay, so three things I think I've learned in my early twenties and even currently about work is that um, your job and or and or career, whatever you label it is, does not define you. And I think that really it's just a means to an end. Like your job should be. Um, funding your life so uh, in the beginning i feel like and even now i still tr struggle with like being a perfectionist or kind of overachiever and it's kind of like no just you know work you're working to make money to pay for bills and to fund like trips or you know that's what it is so putting like work and job into perspective and knowing that it's not it doesn't define you um the second thing that i have learned is that you know work-life balance so and this is hard because it depends on what kind of job you had and honestly i would say my work-life balance has just actually now been changing more recently um again it's about perspective putting you know work in perspective but also like don't let your job consume you make sure that you are scheduling time for family for friends for exercise health you know learning other things um and then yeah just and then my third my last tip or what i've learned is kind of similar but lifestyle main a healthy like work lifestyle is important and i mean to say like if you're working a job like i just mentioned my first job and you have to quit <laughs> quit you know make an exit plan and leave because i literally had to have physical symptoms of breaking out in hives before i left my first job so, and that goes to say with being, you know, a perfectionist and overachiever, I've learned in my early 20s that, like, I'm not going to die and have... <laughs> <laughs> For the job, they'll I'm replace not, you. I'm not, and they will replace you, like, the next day. So, no one to walk away. No one, like, if you have to leave a job walk away and feel good about it and know you're doing something good for yourself for yourself that's good okay so mine are kind of similar i promise we did not tell each other before <laughs> but first i said mine this was kind of centered towards starting your career um i said give yourself grace um because you know when you're starting a new career you kind of like you want to go in and what do they call it guns blazing but you're gonna have to learn especially as a nurse you know you were you're a rookie until you learn what you need to learn so give yourself grace you're not gonna know everything mm -hmm. it takes time my second one is if you're unhappy it is okay to leave <laughs> i like what you said though about like an exit strategy like you never want to just like don't show up again mm -hmm. i know it's like two weeks notice some jobs even want like a month now so but make sure you leave with good standing yeah yeah because you might need them for a reference yeah but a lot of people get stuck in a rut and feel like they can't leave oh this is my first big girl or big uh big boy job i don't want to leave but mm -hmm. if you're unhappy it's okay to explore other options and then my third one is i said show up for yourself in your personal life so that way you can show up in your work life that's good um kind of some of the same stuff you were talking about like things that make you happy outside of work exercise yeah health because your attitude, you know, it affects determined. how you are at work mm -hmm. as well. And yeah, exactly. That's actually really good. Mm -hmm. um, so then we'll just move on to money. 
Ooh, the fun step, guys. <laughs> Money. Um, I lose the business this you know. I know. Lucy I on our budget, guys. I do budget all the time. I should have went into accounting. She should have. She likes the budget, y'all. I do. Um, so, and that's my first thing I learned is to budget the importance of budgeting and you know just being very aware of where your money is going subscriptions all that type of stuff like have a real budget and make sure my second tip is you know that you're living below your means i don't in the beginning and when i was in between jobs i was paycheck to paycheck um and sometimes i still feel that way because you know there's inflation in 2023 and but for the most part, like, because I've been able to budget and live within my means, I'm able to travel, I'm able to, you know, there's not a lot of needs. I'm going without any needs. All my needs have been met. Thank and God. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> I'm grateful for it. Um, and most, most of my wants, too. There's not like I can say right now in my life, there's something I really, really want. And because of money, I can't have it. So, well, house. <laughs> Well, South Florida, guys. Yeah, a house. But, I mean, you can't ever just... Well, unless you're rich, I'm not going to have 300000 400000 cash. So, But, yeah. And then my third thing is to invest, which just leads back into what I was saying. I think that it was a really smart move for us to go ahead and buy a property together. Um, we are learning now about equity and, you know, the benefits of, of all of it. Um and save. I think that's goes without saying. Goes without saying. <laughs> save. Um, like I mentioned before, it was I was able to walk away from that job and not like feel like completely overwhelmed because I did have some savings. Mm. I had about three months of my bills saved up. So there you know, you never know when there's gonna be a rainy day, when something like car is gonna go. Oh god. Sorry. <laughs> Especially you have an older car, oh my god. I know. And we both kinda have older cars. Um, my car is old. I got a newer not car. Now. Oh, mean, you meant when we were starting. Yeah. She We're talking about <laughs> in our early 20s. Oh, yeah. Is yes. it what she hype? Me not hype. Our early Honestly, 20s. Honestly, Miss Silver, would I drive Annabella if me never start travel nurse because I couldn't put all that mileage yeah, on it her. I love it. her. She's it still running. It. Yeah. And that was my first car, guys. So yeah. it was handed down. But those are my three kind of main things. Okay, so mine are. I put prioritize saving for number one mm -hmm. because I know like when you first start making money and you're like, oh my God, I want this, I want that, I want it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm an uh, independent adult now. Yeah. He's like, no girl, you gotta save because like Lucy said, you never know what's gonna happen to you. Mm -hmm. um, then what did I put? Don't spend more than you make. <laughs> Don't spend more than you make, mm -hmm. and I put live within your means because you know, make no sense you out your stunting guys, and you don't have it. I mean, but yeah, I mean, and credit cards. Oh my gosh, credit! We should have put that on there. Yeah, they trick you even with college too. They don't tell you like, oh, just put it on a credit card, mm -hmm. build build your credit. Mm -hmm. You have to pay it back within a timely manner, otherwise you get what is it called? You pay interest. Interest, mm -hmm. yeah, and make sure you know what the interest rate is. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And then my last one is invest your money, some money. Mm -hmm. Like what we did, maybe get a condo. And then I put within that, I put save for retirement. What are oh, those yeah. things called? Um, 401k. Yeah. And that's kind of a mix of money and work. So like not a lot of jobs are like, you know, off force you to do it. No, yeah, I require you. Like, my job doesn't require for me to do a 401k. I have to make the choice that I want that money taken out of my paycheck. Um, and my employer right now actually matches. So that's a good, you know, benefit. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a good one. You have to have a certain amount of your per, uh, paycheck before they match it? 6%. Mm -hmm. They'll match up to 6%. So I can, I can choose to do, like, one, two, three percent or whatever, but I did the max that my employer will match and that's going to go towards my 401k because like I said, not a lot of jobs are, and depending on the field you go, you might not get pension and the reality is even though we're all paying to social security, um, not get it. yeah. but if you don't have it through your job, you can do individual yeah, ones. Yeah, you can do individual too. ones and you can do certain saving accounts that have like high, what is that? CD a concert. There's a lot of so investing. There's a lot of we're not like real versed. In yeah, it. we really aren't. We only have so far in real estate. I haven't done any. Have you done any like stocks or anything mm -hmm, like that? I should, but yeah, 
and like four hundred one k and stuff like that. But otherwise, there's a lot of things. What so are like RIA and Roth IRA or something yeah. like that? So that's a good one. Uh, okay, guys. So we're going to jump into the second part of this video, and we're going to talk about what we've learned in our early twenties about relationship and relationships and friendships. So I'll start off with relationships. I am married now. <laughs> I have been for two years, um, and actually in a, the same relationship for almost three. I don't know, married about stop. <laughs> but in my early twenties, I was not married. Um, yeah. So yeah. So some of my lessons, or like one of the biggest lessons I learned before being married, is to let go with grace. Um, <sighs> that was hard. <laughs> it Oof. is hard. It is hard. But I feel like my last serious relationship before my marriage just really taught me i think i dealt with that the best versus like all the situationships and dating i did before um i'm i was able to learn i think by 25 for sure that like rejection isn't always about you um or don't take it personal yeah don't take it personal let people go with grace and like appreciate that the paths have crossed Mm -hmm. and you know wish people well i wish none of like my exes or situationships any like ill, Ill intent yeah because it was experience so, mm -hmm. and a lesson and yeah, yeah like you said you met for a reason you learned something mm -hmm. and, and it always starts off good so it's not like you know who stay well i mean sometimes <laughs> but who stays in like a bad relationship or you know it, there's a, there was good to it so i think that's like my biggest lesson is i can look back right now and you know, I was young and dumb. I probably was in a lot of like young and dumb. <laughs> young and dumb. Yeah, a lot of situations I didn't need to be in. Um and yeah. You know what I was gonna say? You said it, walk away from what no longer serves you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. that's gracefully and that's even outside of relationships like anything mm -hmm. okay. and then i think my second biggest thing and this is based off since being married with relationships is it's a choice being in a relationship is a choice and it's an everyday choice you know being committed and being in a relationship every day you have to get up and choose your partner and with that, you need to, and this is something I still work on, and I think you forever will work on in any type of relationship, is forgiveness. Um, you need to be able to forgive, move on, and then every day choose that person and choose to, you know, be the best you can in that relationship for yourself and for the person that you're with. You know what's a good one, and I'm not in a relationship right now, so I, I was going to say you can't look for your happiness in someone's Yeah, life. share yours. But that's not what I put on <laughs> mine, guys. But then you just made me think of that. But mine was, um, when you're young, I said, don't limit yourself to a type. Can mm. you remember, like, when you're young, like, oh, he's on no mid type. Yeah, yeah. She on no mid type, so I can't go for them and stuff. And then your type changes as you grow up too you know mm -hmm. what you used to like you may no longer like and stuff like that yeah so. and a lot of times i feel like for like females we our type is not like the best type for for us, us. <laughs> yeah I mean, they're not so compatible and then my second one was always be your honest or authentic self so be really upfront about your values who you are That's how good. you communicate just always be your authentic self mm-hmm because I remember, like, being younger and, I don't know, kind of putting on a front. <laughs> yeah, sometimes like, we play up the part of us that may, um, may attract me. somebody more. Yeah, or, yeah, like, this, say you and someone has something in common, you play it up more, more. or something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And it's best to just be your true just self. Just be real. Because it's going to come out and then, you know, mm -hmm. you need to know if you're not personally vibe. Yeah. Um, and then friendships. You want to start what are like two major lessons you learned about friendships in your early 20s um i said make time for your friends because life is really busy and you realize that once you start to work and pay bills and you make your budgets and stuff like that. <laughs> no but make time for because it's easy to say all right me tired i don't want to go out mm -hmm. just like sometimes you got to push yourselves you know um and then my second one was value true connections you know mm -hmm. and another it's like once you put your authentic self out there you meet people that you vibe with as friends as well yeah damn and then family. damn near family soulmates you know mm -hmm. your friends can connect with you and help you like sometimes there's a blood thicker down water but sometimes you really got that or good friend better down pocket <laughs> yeah so that's um i kind of on 
similar to that i said well kind of quality over quantity Ooh. i think like in my early 20s i grew apart from i feel like when i was in my late teens early 20s i thought i have like a ton of friends mm -hmm. and a lot of my friends were like we've grown apart and some i would probably consider more of like you know associates or people i may see here and there and talk to but not like my friend friend i have like a few like core same mm -hmm. i like that that's i think that's kind of what i was trying to get to with my second point like the value quality yeah value quality friendships mm -hmm. because you know friends are going to be there sometime more than family will be well in your early 20s right. in life yeah especially if you like us we moved away from family you know mm -hmm. what i mean so yeah and then i guess it's kind of like the first one for my relationships but also you know you're gonna grow apart from like college friends high school friends and be okay with that and not take it personal and not it's like when you start working and you know grinding and you're in everyday life it's it's hard to keep up with people and some people move like i have friends that have moved i you know across the world or mm -hmm. you know and like she was saying which is really important people's values and lifestyles can change mm -hmm. and sometimes it's not what you need to be on like it's not what you need to be around with no around. disrespect to them but mm -hmm. that's just not what it's you're just on. not and you have to be secure in yourself to be like okay you know i enjoyed our friendship while it lasted and i wish you well you know i consider we still have love in my heart but, but this no longer serves, serves me yes <laughs> um so and then this last part of the video is any like tips i have three but three. you can just share i have three lessons and tips for your early 20s mm -hmm. or what i learned now looking back right mm -hmm. so i said be present because like she was saying you get into the grind you get into the hustle you're trying to do but you it's like then you think and you're like oh this is my life mm -hmm. <laughs> you look up like i can't believe she was saying we're over 25 like i can't believe like you know what i mean yeah it goes like, by yeah so be present like actually live your life while you're trying to do all you're trying to do you know mm -hmm. my second one is it's okay to not have it all figured out mm -hmm. i feel like society and people are pressured just kind of like oh we need to have this and that by the time we're 30 so i feel like we have that mindset in our young 20s we have to figure it out we have to know where we want to live we want to work kinda. and yeah it does kind of ruin it because it's like you like it, it plays into not being present, present yeah. because it's like you're always trying to work towards something and not really enjoying what you've already accomplished Achieved and all that for mm -hmm. real for real and then my last one was make time for things and people that you find important to you because life is short you never know what's gonna happen yep you kind of death kind of becomes real i don't know if it's like during high school like i might have like lost like relatives and we've you know experience death in our family but you lose friends like to death and family members and it's you have i mean i mean necessarily and i don't not only death as well because like you say you don't know how long someone's going to be in your life for as far as like this season mm -hmm. you know so like i value the friendships or the things that i have done in the past mm -hmm. because it i may never get to do it again or mm -hmm. you know what i mean and things like traveling whatever make time for what makes you who you are um so my biggest my three biggest is to invest in god always <laughs> that's a good one you have to have spirituality yeah your religion your spirituality whatever you know god comes first and that's like with every and anything that you do in life and i think you realize for me personally i realize like i've always you know believed in god and everything but as a young adult you're tried oh yeah <laughs> there's a bunch of trials that you're gonna have to go through um, and I just feel like having my faith in God has really pulled me through, through some of the hardest times of my life, which some of the hardest times of my life have been my early 20s. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, bad things happened when we were teen, but I, we're overly emotional sometimes. Or, you know, mm -hmm. we still are uh, not paying for bills. <laughs> you know, kind of free in a way and able to deal with it differently. When you are like, you know, in your early 20s out there trying to live and be an adult and, you know, be a conscious person be a conscious person be a good person and grow. that's what we kind of talked about with people growing apart because mm -hmm. some people i think lose Have sight of god mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um so that's the big one and then the second one is self-care is a must Oof. um and with that boundaries like you have to be comfortable with saying no um because you know yeah. you have to work you have to be a girlfriend or a friend or an aunt or you know so you have to set those boundaries under you know self-care 
and self-care is like working out getting your nails done like any whatever it is for you but prioritize self-care mm. and that's something i learned in my early 20s and i will carry throughout the rest of my life mm -hmm. um and then kind of with that my last one it's the same thing but health is wealth um every health mental spiritual physical financial everything financial. um i think when we're younger or for me, I feel like probably in my teenage years, I think maybe we thought, I thought, let me speak for myself, is that I was a little bit invincible. I don't a think lot I, of people do. A lot yeah. Of mm -hmm. I don't think I realized like how important it is to really prioritize like your mental health. And even in college, there was like this mentality of just like, push through. It's right. Like, yeah. Like, and you kind of get some really bad like habits. So in my early 20s, I think I've had to learn more about like, what is mental health? How do I prioritize? How do I take care of it? And then eating, you know, eating well when you're outside of college, working out, all that type of stuff. So yeah, guys, that is our tips, our lessons, our experiences. We are both old. pushing 30. We ain't no experts though. Everyone has their own experience. Exactly. And all these things are just really obviously based off our own life experiences and I think people, though, do relate more than we know overall. You know, we just do in life in our, the stages and ages. And yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please stay tuned, like, and subscribe.